a branded content consultant and speaker, and mostly what I do is help brands and publishers figure out how to tell better brand stories. So for most publishers, they're dealing with a drop in print revenue and they're also struggling with ad blocking and lower priced digital ads. So a lot of them are looking for new revenue streams and that's true whether you're a big publisher or a small publisher. So if you can monetize your relationship with your audience and monetize your storytelling expertise with branded content, it's a way to bring in new revenue that doesn't disrupt or disappoint your audience. You know, it's something that brings them value instead of just putting more ads on the page and adding pop-ups and more pop-ups, but you can actually find a way to bring in revenue using something that your audience will hopefully appreciate. And so I think in that way, it's sort of a win-win. You know, everyone benefits. The publishers get the revenue, the readers get a better ex ad experience, and the uh, advertisers get a new way to interact with their audience. is actually growing its branded content practice at a rate that's higher than some other parts of the world. You know, other parts of the world in the US, North America may have a larger total market, but their growth has already happened and they're kind of plateauing. Whereas here, it's just starting to really take off. And so I believe the numbers are that Latin America is going to have about a $3 billion industry in branded content, and that, that's a lot of money for publishers. So uh, my hope is that it will continue to grow here, and hopefully uh, you can learn from the mistakes from some of the other countries who have already had to go through that growth phase and you know the growing pains, and, and hopefully some of that can make it easier. just want to talk about their products and they think that storytelling is kind of a sneaky way to sell that oh we'll pretend to tell a story for a few paragraphs and then we'll just sell like we always do and if you do that people will see right through it you know they won't have a good experience at all and worse they might have a negative opinion of you as a brand if they feel like you're tricking them so it's really important to focus on what value can I bring to the audience in the same way that a journalist would look for stories to find out which people have interesting journeys and perspectives? What can I teach the audience about this topic that they might not know about? What could I show them, take them behind the scenes and give them a view and an experience that they might never otherwise get to know? So if a brand can kind of think like a journalist and look for stories like that, ways they can teach and bring value to the audience, I think they'll ultimately be better off because the audience is gonna see that they're trying to bring value and, and have a better opinion of them. Both journalists and marketers can kind of learn from each other. I think journalists have so much storytelling experience that brands could really benefit from, you know, learning what makes something interesting or newsworthy or different um, from a storytelling perspective. But I think journalists could also learn from, from marketers, you know, learning how to give their story new life, how to distribute it more effectively, how to think about their target audience in a different way. You know, I think there was a time when journalists didn't really have to think about how their publications made money. You just kind of came into work, you wrote your story, and you went home. And as we've transitioned into a more digital environment, all of those things are coming together. So as journalists, we don't have the liberty of ignoring the fact that we are part of the business anymore. And so I think that's a great way for us to kind of learn from each other to take those business lessons and bring them into the way we do our editorial and take those editorial storytelling best practices and bring them into the way we do our marketing. figuring it out. I don't think we know exactly where branded content is going. Um, I do know that I don't think it's a silver bullet. I don't think it's going to take over all of journalism or take over all of, of advertising and marketing. But I do think it's going to be an increasingly important part of you know, a wider strategic plan. And it's something that you can integrate as a publisher, integrate into your revenue. Um, and as a brand, something you can integrate into your marketing. Um, so I think it's, it's kind of finding its, its right place in that mix. I, I love the 
many different events and it's so exciting for me to get to meet people from so many different countries, so many different perspectives. I think the more that we can learn from each other and share our case studies, share our, our understanding and our experience, um, globally we'll be better off for it. So I love that they keep bringing us all together at these types of events and, and giving us a chance to learn from each other.